I am Hiroyuki Nakamoto from Kobe University in Japan. The title is Attenuation of Ultrasonic Guided Wave on Buried Illumination Pillar. Illumination pillars tend to have corrosion at the root part. Now, the visual checks by inspectors need much time and cost. The objective of this study is the uh, development of the non-destructive evaluation technique using guided waves for aged illumination pillar. In this paper, we derived an attenuation variable from a pillar model buried in the ground. The schematic inspection is like this. The probe is attached to the upper part of the pillar and generates the guided wave in this direction. The guided wave reflects at the root and returns to the probe. If the pillar has corrosion, the corrosion scatters and uh, attenuates the guided wave. The soil around the root part also attenuates the guided wave. Now using the pillar model, uh, we express the amplitudes of the reflection waves. The parameters are here. Uh, A is the initial amplitude of the generated wave and the A plus zero is the amplitude of the vast reflection wave. Uh, this figure shows a buried part, a buried pillar model. Now we derived attenuation variable beta s from them. Now we can obtain the left side of this equation from measurement data. In experiments, uh, electromagnetic acoustic transducers generate two modes, uh, T01 and L02 modes of guided wave to a pipe-shaped specimen. Now we measure the amplitude of reflected waves in the condition of different heights of gravel. The attenuation variable of T01 mode shows the almost linear tendency. The linear uh, trend of T01 mode is useful to estimate the attenuation by soil and uh, corrosion. The conclusion is like this. Uh, thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>